Aloha, and welcome to another episode of After School All-Stars Hawaii's Arts and Crafts Corner with me, Tosa Lovendon. In today's video, we'll be making a super fun project that is really easy and really uh, fast to complete, um, and it is our refrigerator magnets. Um, so today I'll be walking you step by step through how to make this really easy project. Um, and again, it is one of my favorite projects because it is something that lasts a really long time. Um, it's small, so it saves space, but it also kind of like broadcasts your work um, and your arts and craftsness in a different way um, that you don't always get to see. Um, so stick around. We're going to go over the materials um, and then we'll get into our project. All right. So let's go over the materials that we need. First, we are going to need some paper. Um, I have cardstock here, it's a little bit thicker. Um, so when I draw on it with my Sharpies, which is my second item, um, it doesn't bleed through the paper uh, and it makes a clear image. Uh, you also need a pair of scissors, please be careful. You are going to need large glass beads. Um, you can find these at Ben Franklin or Walmart. Um, you're also going to need magnet um, I have magnet tape and I cut them into strips that were roughly about the size of the um, large glass bead. And I will cut around the edges and get all that extra off when I'm done. You're also going to need super glue. Um, please make sure that you are speaking with your parents first and getting permission before handling. And then also um, that you do wear a glove when you are um, using the super glue just so it doesn't get on your skin. Um, it can be really painful to get off um, and it is not safe if you do not wear gloves. Um, and then the last item is a pencil. Um, so you go ahead and pause here um, and go get all your items and I will see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one of our large glass beads and I'm going to place it just on the edge of the paper um, so that I can trace around it and I know how large the image that I'm going to be drawing is going to be. And if you notice, I'm kind of going in at an angle oh, because I don't want to um, draw the actual like width on the outside because that paper won't stick to the charm. You only want to draw where the actual paper oh, this, um, is going to be. So as you can see, that is roughly the shape um, of the glass dot. And I'm going to then again place my glass dot on the side. And I am going to be drawing just a cute little rainbow with some clouds. So first I'm going to draw my clouds. Um, and I feel like this is so like picturesque of Hawaii is that you always see a rainbow with clouds. So I'm just going to draw that because I think that would be a wonderful message. I've got all my Sharpies, put them in color order. All right, and I'm just going to like go for it. Again, the image is going to be small because the glass is small. So I want to try to get as much detail present as I possibly can. Um, and I feel like with color, it definitely does that. Um, and also this is like a very fast project and um, it's something that little kids and older kids and parents can do. Um, you can use pictures if you have like um, their graduation picture or uh, it could even be like baby pictures. Um, but again, I am just doing the rainbow because it is found in Hawaii. I've got all my colors and then I'm also going to take my thin black Sharpie and I'm just going to outline the clouds like that. And then I think I'm going to write the word Aloha. A L O H A. There we go. Awesome. 
All right, so the next step, I'm gonna move my markers to the side and I'm going to very carefully just cut around the line that I drew um, for the edge, the inside edge of the large glass beads. Just gonna move this paper to the side. That way I have a little bit more space. All right. So I'm going to cut this off and I am going to prep my area real quick to attach the paper and the magnet and I will be right back. All right. So now um, I have put my glove on and again, I like to use my glove um, when I'm using super glue just because I feel like it's a lot easier to take the glove off than it is the super glue stuck to your skin. Um, so if you do not have a glove, again, please make sure that you have adult supervision um, when you're using super glue. And the brand that I have is the Loctite uh, super glue in liquid form. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the lid. I'm going to put it on the side and I'm not going to apply the super glue to the picture. I'm going to apply it to the glass. Um, so I'm going to put my super glue kind of all over the place oh be careful i'm holding it with one finger but i don't want to get it on my hand um so i'm just going to kind of put an even coat around the base and because it does dry quick i'm just going to very quickly put my lid on and this is going to be the part i'm going to take my picture and i'm going to flip it upside down and it doesn't really matter how you put it on but you just want to kind of center it and push down. Make sure it doesn't really move on the glass. And you're gonna let that dry for a few seconds. Um, and while that is drying, I'm going to take my magnet. And again, I have a roll of magnet tape and I just chopped a piece off um, and it is a little bit larger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna kind of cut off the edges to make it like a circle um, because that is what I'm attaching this to is the shape of a circle. And again, please be careful while you're using your scissors and I'm going to place all of my rubbish in one little pile for easier cleanup. And this has an actual sticker back, but I also am going to super glue it on um, just so that I know it stays put. So for now, I'm gonna flip it over and that is what our magnet looks like. I really like how the glass kind of magnifies the image and the colors and everything. It's so vibrant, it's so pretty. Um, and you can do this with anything, which is what I love most about it. Um, so I'm going to put this down again and we are going to prep the magnet for the back. So as you can see, like I said, it has a paper that comes off and it is sticky, but we are just gonna stick that on. So one more time. And again, I'm going to apply the glue to the actual piece of magnet, but not to the outsides this time, just so my glove doesn't get stuck to it because it does already have a sticky coat. So I just wanna make sure that I've applied extra. So I'm going to take this, flip it over and try to get it in the center. Ooh. See how my glove got stuck? Try to make sure again that you are using the hand with the glove. And you just wanna hold that down, press it down for like a good 30 seconds or so. Um, I see right now glue coming out the sides, which means that it, um, went all over evenly on the base of the magnet, which is cool. Um, I guess that's what I was kind of going for. Again, I just want to make sure that it sticks. So I'm going to hold this down, blow it a little bit. So the edges um, definitely, oh, see how it's stuck to my glove, guys. Thank goodness it's my glove and not my finger. So while this super glue is drying, just again, pushing down all the sides making sure that all of the seams of the magnet are flush with the glass and the paper. And it looks like it is. And that is our finished product, guys. 
All right, guys, so this is our finished product. This is our refrigerator magnet, um, but it could also double as like a magnet for your office. Um, you can even make push pins out of these. Instead of adding magnets, you can add the push pin back um, and you can do it on the calendar board or on your wall. Um, but this is a really cool project that you can make for your friends that doesn't require a lot of effort, um, but it can give you a lot of thought and love to other people. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. I hope that you guys had fun making my project with me. Um, and again, please don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment um, on our at All Stars Hawaii Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube channels. Um, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Aloha.